Today on our program, under the heading, soon on the screen, the final part of the trilogy, The Hobbit, by director Peter Jackson. Recently, Almaty hosted solo exhibition of contemporary Russian artist Nikos Safranov. Under the heading, On the Front Line, we talk about how the team of the German theater is preparing for the upcoming theater festival. And the hero of today's column, The Master Has It, is the new star of native pop, Gollum Jean Moldanzar. Director Peter Jackson presents the long-waited-for third and final part of the trilogy, The Hobbit. The film is based on the story by John Tolkien, The Hobbit, or There and Back Again. When the series of films about The Hobbit was in its infancy, it was planned that the film would have only two parts, and the second would be subtitled There and Back Again. But then, in July 2012, it was decided to split the story into three parts and give that subtitle to the latest movie. In April 2014, Peter Jackson announced that the name of the third film was changed again, and it would be Battle of Five Armies. The main reason for the name change was that in the last film, the focus was precisely on this battle. The film focuses on the events that take place in the kingdom of Erebor, after gnomes woke the sleeping giant dragon Smaug, who flies over the city of Esgarot. A huge army of goblins, led by Azog, comes and soon the great battle breaks out. The actors are well known to us from the first parts, Martin Freeman, Ian McKellen, Christopher Lee, Kate Blanchett, Orlando Bloom, and many others. The State Museum of Arts, named after Ablehan Kastiev, opened a solo exhibition, Favorites, by honored artist of the Russian Federation, Nikas Safrana. For the first time, Almaty residents and guests of the southern capital have the opportunity to see the largest collection of his paintings. The city is renewed, clean, delicious, and a lot of beautiful women. That flatters artists and gives strength and inspiration for creativity. This is the first time I have been exhibited in Kazakhstan, and that success is nice. People desire to see the pictures. The people who I have always had great respect and love for, they treat my work very carefully and attentively. After learning of this exhibition, I have tried to learn more about the work of Nikas Safranov and first met him closely. I admire his art. I believe that such a person cannot be perceived as something unique. That is, he is known to the whole world, and I believe that each person has his own taste and then everyone will find something to their liking. Nikas Safranov, who is one of the most prominent contemporary Russian artists, works equally well in drawing and painting, brilliantly uses the features of five genres. Most of his paintings are in major museums and private collections of Russian and foreign stars of politics and culture, such as Sophia Loren, Alain Delong, Diana Ross, Madonna, Nikita Mikhailkov, and many others. The exhibition project favorites has significant geographic boundaries. Exposure demonstrated in many cities in Russia and Ukraine, Europe and Asia. The main objective of the exhibition in Almaty is to acquaint the audience with different periods of creativity of Nikas Safrana. Our film crew visited backstage at the German theater with a rich and fruitful work on a new show called Scenes from Faust, from Goethe's poem Faust Goes On. The theater troupe, led by director and artistic director Natasha Dubs, is preparing to play the International Theater Festival, which will soon begin in Almaty, within the framework of the interstate program Cultural Capitals of the Commonwealth, where its premier show will be. It's nine scenes from Faust. 
It is a story about love, not only about love, but also about the meaning of life. Everyone can find for himself some topic of interest. In my opinion, for the performance, we use a very interesting form which we offered to our director. This line of European theater, physical theater, this is something approximate to the dance theater. That is, we are working with plastic, with the body, with a lot of energy. The performance will be performed to the music of Igor Stravinsky in the representation involving about 10 actors. Producers of the play primarily focus on unusual pitch and brightness of performance. The costumes for the play have been provided by the well-known Kazakhstan designer Nurlan Turekanov. The performance is very complex regarding form. It is a more physical play, or plastic. Here, when something I cannot say, I call it plastic, and it may not always be clear. My character is a middle-aged woman. Her name is Martha, and she is the friend of Gretchen, the protagonist of the play. The character lives in agony. Here, actually, in the play Faust, each character is going through some anguish. Previously, it was difficult, but now I am very accustomed to my character and love her so much that I am happy. I want to do it, because she is very lively, she is very bright, mobile. That is what I can have in life. I fill up here. That is, if I have some splashes which I do not do in life, here on the stage, I can completely go off and sublimate all my negative energy. The hero of today's column is perhaps the most enigmatic singer of Kazakh pop, Galamjan Moldanazar. After releasing his debut video for the song Ak Pen Beard, Galamjan in a few days got thousands of views on the internet and became famous not only in his native Kazakhstan, but also far beyond. His style and unusual execution touched the hearts of many fans. Alam Jean recognizes that, gravitated to music from an early age and in school years, he learned to play the guitar by himself and began to write his first songs. After school, the young singer left his hometown of Kizil Orda and arrived in Almaty in order to enter the Kazakh Academy of Arts. To be engaged in creativity is a dream that I had since childhood. Composing for me gives inner harmony and peace. I am very grateful for this opportunity. Despite many years of experience in music, I can recognize myself as a composer and songwriter, but I have not yet established myself as a singer because I only started my singing career recently. I still have a fear of going on stage, and I find myself as a coming singer. Musical ideals for the future singer were the works of Gorillaz, Depeche Mode, Coldplay, and a range of modern British music. The singer finds it difficult to identify with a particular musical genre, which he works on because he is constantly experimenting with writing new songs. He considers his music to be a different mix of genres and styles, such as funk, synth pop, indie rock, pop rock, and others. I write a lot in my songs. Basically, this is what is in my heart at that moment. When I write depends on my mood and state of mind. Popular hits of Galamjan perfectly fit soundtracks for movies, so the singer has repeatedly offered to write songs for domestic movies. His rhythmic tracks were heard in such films as Forbidden Dance, Take Care the Cow, and The Kazakh Job. Every day, the singer receives a variety of offers of tours from Russia and Europe. So Gollum Jean is engaged in planning his future concert tour, and his most immediate plans consider going to France with a concert. The most important thing for me is not to stop. I am constantly engaged in self-development, learning a lot of new trends in music, experimenting. The main thing is not to stop. 
and not to turn away from this path, to work hard, to write new songs, and shoot music videos.